fifth match of the tournament, and Sri Lanka's final game in the group stage. On September 3rd Sri Lanka playing with Zimbabwe as their first day game. The match was scheduled to play at SSC Colombo. After the game against Australia, Sri Lanka climbed to the top position. Australia and India sharing two points each, but Australia was having an edge due to run rate. Zimbabwe already out from the competition. Since they already in the finals, selectors decided to rest few and give the opportunity to new additions. So, there are three replacement in the playing 11. Roshan Mahanama, Kumar Dharmasena, and Chaminda Vas were rested and brought Marvan Atapatu, Premadiya Wikramasinghe and Ravindra Pushpakumara. Zimbabwe too made two changes. It was Andy Whittle's debut game. In addition to him Henry Olanga was called to the side to open the bowling. Ali Shah and Brian Strang was rested instead of that. After winning the toss Sri Lanka decided to bowl first. And that'll be a wide to start with. So the uh, delay has hurt the bowler more than the batsman at this stage. And Strang getting the first runs off the bat. Vic Rama Singer will not cut it off so it's a boundary to start with. So as we saw in the other game, this a very quick outfield. And gone. That is a very good outswinger from Pushpakamara. Got it right on line and this is where this young man's bowling has improved. He's got the outswinger going now. That's going to make him a lot more dangerous. Well, this is a beautiful delivery. Well, that's worth a shout. It hit the pad first. In fact, I'll be interested to see what it's called. Oh, well, he's blast blasted that one through the offside field. Right, well, that, for me, is a little bit of frustration. And it's exactly what happens if a bowler bowls just a few... Well, there he goes again. That's much better. Over the top, the fieldsmen are all up. And that's the sort of uh, shot that we've come to expect from uh, the Sri Lankan side. Taking a risk or two in the first 15 overs. Well, that's well played too. Whipped away nicely on the onside. That's a lovely shot from Paul Strang all the way to the fence. Paul Strang. That's well played. Nicely caressed away. In fact, it's going to go all the way. That's lovely timing. Well, that's a beautiful shot by Andy Flower. A few more of those and uh, the Sri Lankans could be... Uh, these must be uh, getting up towards six now. Oh, and that was very close. That's where he uh, took that blow the other day. They were a bit worried about him because he's very important in terms of bowling. In the air, and as he got him, didn't quite carry. Very thick edge, and it didn't go anywhere near Tilakaratna. He threw it up in the air more out of desperation, I think, than anything else. Handle the Sri Lankan seamers. Oh, he's got him. That's a big nick through to the keeper. Hardly uh, an appeal because of the thickness of the neck. So that's a big blow to Zimbabwe. Strang has been the man who's caused the damage out there. 24 or 33 balls. Granted, he slowed down a little bit uh, just of late, but uh, that's a big blow. He went for the cut shot there. It bounced a bit. A huge nick. Much better pull. Big shout there, and he's gone. Umpire Mitchley uh, points the finger at uh, Andy Flower, so Ramesh Galawadharana, he's right in the game with three catches. Of confidence in his bowling. At the uh, SSC ground with his half century against India. Oh, that's a good shot. He's a powerful boy, young Craig Wishart. That's a much better shot. Yes, I think uh, that little... Uh, Give you some indication that uh, the Zimbabwean captain realizes the problem, and uh, that was a very. Edged and uh, dropped by the fielder at uh, first slip. Asantilaka Ratna there. Again, bounce and turn for uh, Murli to run 66 for three. Well, that one's nicely hit away, and what a good catch! Beautifully taken in the deep. Chandana down there, diving away to his right. That's a very, very good catch. He's uh, down the ground at deep mid-off, or deep mid-on, is it? Yeah. And uh, he had to go a long way to his right. Have another look at it. 
this is a magnificent catch by Upal Chandana. Running forward, diving forward and to his right and coming up with the ball inches from the ground. Terrific catch. Zimbabwe losing their fourth wicket. This would be five and over minimum here. That's a good shot. He's played that one beautifully. Beaten mid on. It's running away to the fence. And there's an example of how fast this outfield is. Hello. Oh, he's tossed that one up, and that's nicely played. He's got that one right into the gap. It's exactly where he wanted to hit it. It's gone up a little bit far, so uh, it won't run to the fence. Hold it up! But uh, it certainly was played into the gap. Zimbabwe, 89 for four. Catch up! Shouts of catch it, but he's got it away from uh, Guru Singha. That is certainly a... Craig Evans with a very strong bottom hand grip. Uh, that's a good shot. A late cut. And that'll get away to the boundary. That's pretty well struck. Shouts of catch it, but it doesn't quite carry. They've gone down. That one beats Chandana, and it'll also beat Aravinda De Silva. Well, that's well struck. That'll be six. That's Jaya Saria getting a bit of his own medicine there. Nicely played, he slashed that one away and it'll go to the fence. Yes, all the way to the boundary. And that's his 50. Well, that's pretty well played. He was very slow at the start. He's now taken his score to 50 of 85 deliveries. And uh, it's pretty important that he kicks on from here. Yeah, it's important for... He's played so much of cricket, and I think now he knows everything by heart. Well, that's his off-century as well. Pushed away on the offside for one. So both Campbell and Evans have um, chalked up a half-century in this match against Sri Lanka. Well, it's in the air, and uh, again, little Kalu with Orono darting down the leg side there with his gloves so wide open, hoping that uh, he'd get another chance bowling from quite wide of the crease spinning it back a long way but that's well placed he's hit that one into the gap down at square leg a big hit there by Evans and it's a big six by Evans over mid wicket that's out stumped him there that is very nicely taken by Kalu with Arana Campbell charging down the wicket, big gap straight over the top of the umpire's head, and he was trying to get that one away in that direction. The ball turned quite a long way, and uh, it was not... Down the track comes uh, Evans, but Mudli Dharan uh, flights it outside the leg stump. Evans gets enough bat on it to find the fence at square leg. He swung away on the inside and beats the man at square leg. So a boundary there for Vitol. And there's another stumping missed by uh, Kalu Vitarana. So he's having a dreadful day out there. Things Zimbabwe don't want. Evans gives himself room, picks it up on the onside and hits it a long way over mid-wicket. Swung away on the onside. He finds a gap between mid-on and mid-wicket. One bounce into the boundary. Jasuria strings slightly on the leg stump. Evans making contact and not failing to get his full runs. This time again going for the big one, not quite getting hold of it. He'll only get a single here to end up on 96. It has been a very good innings by Evans. And that's the end of the Zimbabwe innings after 50 overs, 227 for... At a stage Zimbabwe were on trouble by losing the fourth wicket for 66. Then skipper Campbell and Evans put up 114 for the fifth wicket. Evans misses his 100. With six fours and massive three success he scored 96 not out in 105 balls. Campbell scored 54 with three fours. Finally after 50 overs they scored 227 for five. Sri Lanka had a mixed day in the field. Kalia at Harana misses four stumping chances but players like Chandana was electric. 
striding out to the minute, middle there, Jaya Saria on the right of your picture. Sanat Jaya Saria has become an absolutely magnificent player to watch. Little Kalu with Arana, a little dynamic uh, package he is, loves chipping the ball over the infield. One thing, just in case he hits one in that direction and one over the top down there as well, waiting and hoping. So, his streak on his way now to Jaya Saria. This is the first ball of Sri Lanka's innings. Well, <laughs> an optimistic appeal to say the least there for LBW. Extract a bit choked at the moment. Oh, he's hit that one. Well, it's starting to happen now. Just short of the fence down there. That's wide and he's cracked that one away. It's gone off the edge and gone for four. He doesn't mind having it go outside off Stumpy, that. He's... Short again, that's in the air. Will this be caught? I don't know. There's a man underneath this. This could be out. He's got him. Yes, he's got him. Kalu with Arana going for the pull shot. Has got underneath that one just a little bit too much. It's gone high in the air, and that was nicely taken. Well, they needed a wicket there, and uh, they've certainly got one. Kalu is, uh, I think, just wondering whether the ball was actually caught. I don't know what uh, his problem is. Perhaps he was... Uh, Pull him, he's got him, that's a tremendous wicket to the Zimbabweans, a longer has struck again, just a little bit of frustration there and a bad shot from Jaya Saria, trying to heave that one away to mid-wicket, it was bang on target, having just bowled him the Yorker ball, this will do the Zimbabweans no end of good. It certainly was a very fine delivery. And he's been quite impressive, that'll go away to the boundary. Could be a bit better if he can. Arm could be rounded. And that'll be away for four. If he can get wickets, and particularly if he gets the top order players out. And a shot that gets him many, many runs. Pulled away on the onside. He gets a lot of runs, doesn't he? Ranjit playing the shot. As compared to Sri Lanka, 64 for two. Down the track comes De Silva. And clears the fence over long off beautifully timed it's the footwork that made the shot possible right out to the pitch of the ball and hitting it over the infield that shot brought up the 50 run partnership between these two and pulled away on the onside by De Silva this will go for the to the fence for four he's picked up that short ball early and in fact has hit it in front of me and he's whacked that one away very firmly down to the square leg boundary along as the fieldsman down there and uh, that'll bring up his half century a lovely throw from a longer as well Right over the bales, so Aravinda having a great time with the bat. Oh, and it's gone straight through backward points legs, and it'll go all the way to the fence for four. Oh, this will be out. He's got him. Well, what a dreadful mix-up that was. Because the ball was... Again, nice placement. It'll go all the way to the fence. He really did just wait for that one and brought his bat down at absolutely the right moment. One for 23. In fact, uh, he hasn't got a wicket yet. That's a, a magnificent shot. Beautifully played. So that's through the field and uh, it may run away to the fence for four as well. Perhaps it won't quite get there. Yes, it will. Now, once I've uh, once I've just dwelt on that Narataki tea set, I'll come, <laughs> I'll come back to it. <laughs> That's gone for four as well. This is what he special. In the air, but again in the gap, and the result the same. Four runs. I mean, spinner continues. Andrew Whittle and cut away by Ranatunga straight to the man at backward point. Just the wicket Zimbabwe needed at this stage. And a very important one too. Sri Lankan captain departs with 129 runs on the board. And driven on the offside, he finds the gap between cover and extra cover. Long chase there for Olanga, but he can't get there. That was beautifully timed by Tilakaratna. Cut away by De Silva, beautifully into the gap. A 
Nicely struck there by Tilakaratna. Wayne James in the outfield. That's a nice shot. Evans will have his work cut out stopping that one. Oh, that's a smart shot. He Strick suddenly decided he wants to appeal. He's in sight of a well-deserved handy. Once again, his placement is pretty good. That's a well-played century, bringing it up with a boundary. A superb shot by De Silva, sweeping fine, and a well-deserved 100. What a fine knock this has been for Sri Lanka. The flags fluttering away, Lionel there in the background, and aren't the Sri Lankan crowds here just delighted? Well, that's gone for four without any trouble at all. Well, no problem. A full toss and that's four as well desperate lunge there by Henry Alonga but it's gone to the boundary for four. they're gonna give it their all and Alvin that is this has decided that it's time to cut loose again giving Alonga the charge not quite timing it as four Down the wicket he comes and he's got that one away. It won't go all the way for six. It'll go for four, though. I get the feeling he was trying to finish it off with a six. Well, it's a similar shot to the last one. Only time, only thing uh, this time. And Aravinda de Silva is on strike. 127 he's got. And he's whacked that one away down towards the square leg fence. It'll go down there for one. And that is the one that will take Sri Lanka to victory yet again. So, very well played. A comprehensive win yet again. And once again, Aravinda de Silva has been the hero in this uh, Sri Lankan batting lineup. He really has played so well during this Singer World Series. Before the match begins, Olonga expressed his interest to ball to most dangerous openers on the planet. He kept his promise and took both wickets. Dashing Sanath had a hectic day. Strike rate of 29.41 is rare sight for him. But again, Aravinda is unstoppable. With 13 fours in a six he scored massive 127 not out in 123 and guide Sri Lanka for an easy win in 47 overs. Aravinda maintains his outstanding performance again. This is his sixth century and back-to-back -back man of the match awards. This six-wicket win gives Sri Lanka a clean slate in group stage, three out of three which set the stage to Australia and India the next game as unofficial semi-finals. Winner will go to the finals with Sri Lanka. Let's find out what will happen in the match in our next episode.